Hey there, my friend. This is Philip Blackett here from Magnetic Interviewing, and welcome to another new episode of Interview FAQs, your one-stop shop to helping you better approach some of the most commonly asked interview questions, whether you're interviewing for college, graduate school, jobs, or internships. And so in this episode, we're going to talk about, essentially, what would you like to accomplish in the next 30 days, 60 days, or even 90 days? Because here's the thing. More than likely, when you start your new job or summer internship, you want to hit the ground running. And at the same time, wouldn't it be helpful for you to be proactive as far as what you would like to accomplish and be able to share that with the interviewer firsthand, how you want to make an early impact at your job or internship, showing that sort of proactivity and that eagerness to want to be a part and to be able to add value from the get-go. You see, when I interviewed at a Fortune 50 company, a few years ago, I had a 30, 60, 90 day plan. I didn't know of it before. And somebody, a friend of mine, recommended that I come prepare with one. And I'm so thankful that she did. Because I like to think that that 30, 60, 90 day plan helped distinguish me from the rest of my competition for that particular role. Now, it could be a simple table or like, not table table, like furniture table, but like Excel table or table you create on a Word document or PowerPoint slide, basically three columns, right? Essentially, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Um, And then include three things, at least three things in each column, just kind of sharing, okay, within your first 30 days, what would you like to accomplish? What would you do? What would you take part in? The next 60 days, what would you do? Next 90 days? Because obviously some things will take a little bit longer to accomplish than others. And so being able to be able to sh- proactively share which ones you do in each bucket, that can definitely help out as well. And once you actually come up with that and you got it together, review it into the point where you feel comfortable sharing it with other people um, and then be able to talk about it when you ask in the interview. But not to mention, here's the other thing. Even if they don't ask you in an interview, wouldn't it be helpful to have this 30, 60, 90 day plan already made that you can submit as maybe supplemental material to your application or maybe hand in as part of you know information like at the end of your interview? Um, something like that, little things like that I've learned and I've applied more importantly to help distinguish myself from others, to help give myself a better chance of getting accepted versus rejected, getting the offer or not getting the offer. And so I'm sharing that with you because hopefully that can be something that you can use to help better your chances of acing the interview wherever you're interviewing for. So for that matter, take some time and create a simple 30, 60, 90 day plan, essentially sharing what things you would like to accomplish in each of those time intervals be comfortable enough with it or you can share it and be ready to either talk about it in an interview or submit it as supplemental material as part of your application or at the end of your interview. So with that being said, I'll cut this short. I uh, hope this is of value to you. hope you got something out of this that can be helpful as you prepare your, for your interview. Um, if you like what I'm sh- saying to you, if you like what you're hearing, head on over to www.interviewfaqs.net. There you'll be able to subscribe for free for future uh, episodes and interview FAQs so you can stay on top of the right approaches to look at for the most commonly asked interview questions. Not to mention the fact that if you want further interview prep, head on over to www.magneticinterviewing.com. There you can sign up for our free seven video, How to Ace Your Interview Bootcamp, with more tips, more strategies, more ways to help distinguish yourself from the competition to gain the slide edge over your competition to get accepted and not rejected when it comes to applying for your dream schools or your dream jobs or internships. So with that being said, thank you so much for listening and for watching this. Take care and I'll see you next episode. All right.